Lesson 8.6, Measure in Inches and Feet. 12 inches is equal to one foot. Measuring in feet is different than measuring in inches because feet are longer than inches. It takes fewer feet than inches to measure the length of an object. And the word feet is used when talking about more than one foot. Feet is the plural of foot. We can use different things to measure the length of an object. If we see he lives about two football fields away, well, if you have a general idea of how long a football field is, you'll know about how far away he lives. Or the garden is three car lengths. So we would know how long the garden is because we can imagine three cars. And the book is as thick as my finger you can get a general idea of how thick the book is. And these types of measures are called non-standard because they're not standard inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters, etc. They're non-standard units. And we can think of a small paper clip as about one inch long. If we measured something in paper clips, that would be a non-standard unit. And we can think of a sheet of school paper as about one foot long. It's about 12 inches. That would be a non-standard unit. This table is about five sheets of paper in length. And we would need many more paper clips to measure this table. Here's David. This room is about four Davids long. So David would be our non-standard measuring unit. And starting at one wall, like up here, we can mark our height with a piece of tape at our feet and repeat this to measure the room. And we'll know how many of our body lengths it would take to measure the room. To measure an object that is longer than our ruler, we line up the object at the zero mark. So we're going to find the zero mark on our ruler and line up the edge of the object with the zero mark. It's right there. Next, we measure one foot and put a small mark. That would be at the 12 inches. It would be right here. So we put a little mark right here. Okay. Hopefully everything doesn't move. So that's the 12 inch mark, that's one foot. We put a small mark. Now we move the ruler to the right and line up that mark with the zero mark again. So we know that's one foot, that's 12 inches. So we have 12 inches, one, which is one foot, and we've got seven inches. And we can write the length in feet and inches. It's one foot, seven inches. Or we can write it in just inches by counting 12 inches plus seven inches is 19 inches. Here it's telling us to measure this orange bar to the nearest inch, then measure it to the nearest foot. So the first thing we do is we take our ruler, our 12 inch ruler, and we line it up with zero at the left side. Then at the end of the ruler, we put a little mark. That is 12 inches. We slide the ruler over to the right and mark 12 inches again. Then we slide the ruler over again and we can see we have three inches. That means we have 12 inches plus 12 inches plus three inches. We add 12 plus 12 plus three and it's equal to 27. Measuring it to the nearest foot, we have one foot, two feet, and this little piece. If we were to go to the end of our ruler, that would be three feet. So we can say that it is closer to two feet than it is to three feet, which means it's about two feet long. And an inch is smaller than a foot, so we have more inches. We have many more inches than we have feet. We can measure how tall something is by laying it on the floor, 
even a person, and we mark each end with tape at the head or the foot or the end of the object. Then we measure the length between our pieces of tape. We'll know how tall something is. We count the number of feet and the number of inches, and we have the height. Here we need to circle the measurement unit that makes sense. It says Tala's bracelet is six. Do you think her bracelet would be inches or feet long? Which one do you think would make sense? If you said inches, you're right. That would be a very long bracelet if it was six feet long. Here it says Sophia's father is six. Is he inches tall or feet tall? If you said feet, you're right. An inch is about the length of a small paper clip. Her father would not be six paper clips tall. That would be way too short. So let's end the lesson with a silly pun. If our nose was 12 inches long, it would be a foot. Our next lesson, 8.7, we're going to estimate lengths in feet. That means we're going to measure objects. We're going to estimate about how many feet long we think they are. Have a wonderful day. I hope you're doing well. Bye.